Thanks for checking out this video, and it is that time. It's time to go over what is coming to Shutter for the next month. So this is for January 2020. It seems very weird to say 2020, but um, yeah, it's going to be 2020. And this is coming a lot earlier than I expected. It usually it's like within the last week of the of the prior month that we find out about what's coming to Shutter for that month. So uh, I assume they did that because they want to get everything out before the holidays. So uh, another thing I want people to know is that. As I've been doing things with like the screeners that I do and I'll release reviews of the, of the movies and shows before they hit Shudder, uh, I'm, I'm going to start saying yes to every single screener because before I was just picking and choosing and saying that sounds interesting, that sounds interesting. I want to try and uh, do better about hitting what is coming to Shudder as far as the originals and exclusives. So if they give me a screener opportunity to get stuff ahead of time and then review it, I'm going to say yes to all of it. And that will be up on this channel, obviously. But let's go ahead and start talking about what's coming in January. But first, real quick, when I'm dropping this video, uh, tomorrow is the Red Christmas with Joe Bob Briggs. So get excited. Uh, hopefully, if you're watching this and you were interested in Joe Bob Briggs, you knew it was coming and you're already ready for that. I will be drinking some beers, hanging out, watching it, and just having a good time. So let's get ready for that. Now, What's coming in January? There's a new original series coming to Shudder in January, and it is called The Deadlands. It's a two, it has a two-episode series premiere. So I assume that means they're going to drop two episodes and then do one, one, one. I don't know. We'll find out. A supernatural adventure set in, oh, did I say what it is? The Deadlands is what it's called. Maybe I did. I just, January 23rd, Thursday, January 23rd. A supernatural adventure set in a mythic Maori, Maori path. Jeez, I'm sorry. Maori past with an aesthetic that's part Ash vs. Evil Dead and part Xena Warrior Princess. Yes, please. That sounds very interesting. The Deadlands features a murdered Maori warrior, Waka Nuku Rao, who's sent back to the wor world of the living to redeem his sins. But the world Waka returns to is ravaged by a breach between life and and the afterlife as the spirits of the newly dead now stalk the land and hunt the living. Waka encounters a determined young woman, Mehe, who becomes both his protege and moral compass. Together they navigate tribal politics, the unsettled ghosts of ancestors, and other forces, both natural and supernatural, on a quest to discover who broke the world and how to repair it, if it's not too late. Da -da -da. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be available for Shudder, Canada, and UK as well. That sounds very interesting. I, I like that it's a very unique concept. That's one of the things I always look forward to with horror genre, is when you get those films, you get those shows that are a a very unused setting, and this is definitely one of those unused settings, or often not used settings. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to check that out just because it seems very unique. Now, going to a, a Shutter original movie the marshes which will be january 9th in the middle of nowhere is a labyrinthine marshland teetering on the verge of extinction dr dr priya anan is committed to saving it using diligence and reason to fight the forces that threaten its existence with the help of rival ben and assistant will priya is certain she is in control but soon Fear manifests in the form of horrifying evil, forcing the team to abandon their efforts to save the marsh and focus on saving themselves. Also available Canada and UK. That one, like, by the description, it doesn't sound that exciting to me, but I'm assuming I'll get a screener for it, so I will watch it and I will review it and I will post a video to let you guys know what I think about it. The next Shutter exclusive, this will be an exclusive film, is called Bliss, and it will be hitting at the end of January. It will be out on the 30th. A brilliant painter facing the worst creative block of her life turns to anything she can to complete her masterpiece, spiraling into a hallucinatory hellscape of drugs, sex, and murder in the sleazy underbelly of Los Angeles. That sounds interesting. That sounds very interesting. I really like horror movies that have kind of like a hallucinatory, crazy, drug-fueled like angle to it i don't know why that is i think part of that's because i love the movie fear and loathing in las vegas so much so because i've watched that so many times whenever there's anything remotely like that incorporated into horror i'm like this is fun so 
All right, so here are the non-exclusives, non-originals, just movies coming to Shudder. January 1st, to kick off the new year, uh, this is a movie I endorse. I definitely watch it if you haven't. The House of the Devil. A stranger lures a babysitter to a house with an unusually large sum of money, but when she arrives, Samantha doesn't find any kids, just a large and very creepy house that may not be as empty as it seems. So, yeah, and that is by Ty West. Um, this is kind of like the only film by Ty West, to be honest, that I actually liked. I mean, the, I've seen other films of his, and I was like, that's fine, that's okay, but The House of the Devil, I really, really like The House of the Devil. Tom Noonan's performance in The House of the Devil is amazing. That's another one of those situations where it's a, an actor who just chooses scenery when they're on screen. So, if for nothing else, check out House of the Devil. Also, if you're big into, like, 80s horror or, like, 80s nostalgia, House of the Devil's got that going on. It's a good film. I enjoy it. And here's one I have not seen. Luz, L-U-Z. A rainy night, a dazed and numb young cab driver, Luz drags herself into the brightly lit entrance of a rundown police station. Across town in a night spot, Nora seductively engages police psychiatrist Dr. Rosini in a conversation. Nora is possessed by a demonic entity longing for the woman it loves, Luz. She tells the doctor about Luz's rebellious past at a Chilean school for girls. Increasingly drunk on her story, the doctor is easy prey for the entity. Once possessed, he's called to the police station to examine Luz, where he puts her in a state of hypnosis that initiates a series of flashbacks revealing the events that led to her arrival. But the entity that has taken control of the doctor wants something more. That is way too long of a synopsis on that. I mean, that should be cut down a lot. It does not sound interesting to me either. It seemed very meandering, and I'm not... Maybe I'll watch it, but I'm not interested. Here's one I am interested in, because I've seen it before and I like it. And I know a lot of you will, too. The Monster Squad. Uh, I'll just read it, because it's, it's small anyway, but... Fred Decker did this one. In this cult favorite horror comedy from the 80s, Young Boys Monster Club takes on a three-dimensional reality when the actual monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, the Mummy, the Wolfman, and the Gill Man, come to town in search of a magic amulet that will enable Dracula to rule the world. Yes, 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 and yes. If you have not seen this film, definitely see this film when it hits Shudder. Love the Monster Squad. That's one you can share with the kids, too. I mean, maybe people share other things with the kids, too. But... That's one I feel comfortable sharing with the kids. I don't have kids, but I have a niece, and she's been asking me, when can we watch a creepy movie together? And I'm like, I don't know what's okay or not, because I'm not your parent. So I was like, certainly the Monster Squad, though. So maybe I'll have to have her come over to the house and show her Monster Squad. That'll be a, a proud moment for me to introduce her to that. All right, January, uh, that is also coming on the 1st. Luz is also coming on the 1st. All three of the first ones were, are coming January 1st. Now, here are two films coming January 6th. Demon, a young woman travels to the hometown. Oh, I'm sorry, woman. Young man, I'm sorry, it's, it's a day for me. I was at work, whole thing. A young man travels to the hometown of his future wife where he knows no one. As a wedding gift from the bride's grandfather, he receives a piece of land where the two can build a house and raise a happy family. While preparing to build, he finds human bones buried beneath the new property. Strange things begin to happen to change this happy couple's life forever. Demon is a modern take on one of the most famous figures of Jewish folklore, the Dybbuk, a spirit of a person not properly laid to rest that seeks to inhabit the body of a living person. Okay, um... Sounds like an interesting premise. I think I will check that one out. The The whole, like, Dybbuk ghost spirit thing uh, is one that is more interesting for me. I'm usually not into, like, ghost stories, but I was watching, what is it, um, Paranormal Witness? Was that is that the show? And they had one about a Dybbuk box, and it was frightening. It was, it was very affecting, and it was frightening. And ever since then, I've been like, okay, if there's a movie about that type of thing, I will check it out, because that's some nutty stuff so that is uh available in shutter canada as well that is specified oh also luz says shutter canada not all of them specify so just letting you know so also coming january 6th patchwork 
Jennifer, Ellie, and Madeline go out for a night on the town and wake up to find themselves trapped in the same body after being murdered, dissected, and stitched together. Whoa, okay. Determined to find out what happened to them and who is responsible, they set out on a madcap quest for revenge. Yeah, also available in Canada. Yeah, I will check that one out because that sounds nuts. Uh, I haven't heard about this. Is, if, has, has anyone heard of this film? And if you've seen it, let me know. Put it in the comments. Uh, yeah, that's that's one I'll be checking out. Uh, January 13th. This will be the streaming premiere of the next one I'm going to talk about. I'm excited about this because I believe it's available on Blu-ray through Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, and I had interest in this film. So the fact that Shudder's putting it out, I'm like, yes, let's go. Tammy and the T-Rex. It's the uncut r-rated version and it says streaming premiere for this film tammy is a popular high school cheerleader whose new boyfriend michael might be the love of her life but tammy's jealous ex billy won't stand for anyone coming between him and his girl so he and his friends kidnap michael leaving him to be mauled by a lion in a local wildlife reserve this sounds nuts uh comatose and at death's door michael's body is stolen from the hospital by mad scientist dr Wackenstein, who extracts his brain and implants it into a giant robotic T-Rex. This sounds amazing. Originally released as a heavily censored PG-13 movie. What? Now restored to its uncut version with all the gross-out gags, gratuitous decapitations, gut-ripping, and head-smashing, courtesy of special effects wizard John Carl Buchler. Holy crap. That sounds awesome. I am psyched for this one. Like, I was interested in it when I just knew, like, I had seen the the cover from who I think is Vinegar Syndrome of the Blu-ray. I was just like, oh, and the title. I was like, that sounds interesting. It sounds like one of those so bad it's fun movies. So I definitely want to check it out. But reading that, I'm beyond psyched for this. I When is it? The 13th, January 13th. I'll, like, put that in my calendar on my phone. I'm checking that out for sure. And then here's the last one, January 20th, a film called Four Hands. Oh, by the way, also showing in Canada for Tammy and T-Rex. January 20th, Four Hands. Sophie and Jessica witnessed a brutal crime as children. Jessica pledged to her young sister Sophie, but after all these years, the promise has become an obsession. Jessica suffers from paranoid delusions, living in fear, sharing a house with her sister. But Sophie yearns to be free, free to pursue her career as a pianist, even free to fall in love. When it's revealed that after 20 years, the criminals are being released, an accident changes everything and transforms Jessica's childhood promise to her sister into an existential nightmare. Existential nightmare? Is that scary? <laughs> like, I, I don't think I've ever known of a horror film that features an existential nightmare. That's not the scary part, I hope. Uh, also available, Shutter Canada. Obviously, I'm you know, joking around about that, but okay, that's it, um, less than what they've been putting out, but, you know, sometimes they'll kind of pop some stuff out there as little extras, so that might not be everything they're going to end up doing, it might just be the start, I don't know, but there we go, what are you guys interested in, obviously for me, um, very excited about the Deadlands, because that sounds really, really weird and interesting, also Bliss sounds kind of interesting, uh, cause of the hallucinatory stuff, house of the devil excited about that. I probably won't watch it cause I've seen it enough. Uh, definitely probably going to try to show monster squad to my niece. That'll be awesome. Uh, patchwork sounds pretty interesting to me. I definitely want to check that one out and Tammy and the T-Rex super, super, super excited for that one. Let's go. Let's get it. Um, and speaking of that, let's go, let's get it with the red Christmas, Joe Bob's red Christmas tomorrow night. I'm very, very excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. Anyway, put some comments down there. What are you excited about for Shudder? Also, here's another question. What do you really want to see Shudder get on their service in 2020? Let's let's talk about that. What should Shudder set as their resolution for films and shows to get for the new year? Put some comments on that down there, and uh, we'll talk about it. But please hit that subscribe for me. That's your best way to pay me back, because I'm doing all this for free. I'm doing it for the love of horror and pretty much just my love of Shudder. That service is wonderful. But thanks for checking this out because I love everyone out there who watches these videos. You guys mean a lot to me. You keep me motivated, and especially when you hit that subscribe. So thanks again, and until next time, keep it brutal.